In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this car build effect in DaVinci Resolve 19. The first step of this effect is to copy your clip. Right-click and choose Change Clip Speed. Freeze the first frame. Position the clips like I do, and after that, open the freeze frame in the color page. Right-click on the preview screen and grab a still. Open your gallery from the top left and export the frame. You can use any AI object removers from Google, but in my case, I will use Photoshop. If you are also using Photoshop, take the lasso tool and draw a mask around the car and its shadow. Then, click on Edit, then Generative Fill. Write, Remove the car. If it did a good job, save the photo and go back to DaVinci. Once the background clip is in the timeline, position it under the original freeze frame. Highlight both of the clips and make a new fusion clip, and after that, open it in fusion. Delete the background node and position the nodes like I do. Find a polygon for the node with the car and connect it. Click on Invert and mask out a portion of the car. Once you have masked it, invert the mask again. Do not add a transform yet. We will save a lot of time doing it later. Copy the nodes and paste them to the side. Select the polygon and click on this icon to reset it. Then invert the mask and mask out another portion of the car. Then invert the mask again. Repeat this process until the whole car is masked. Also, mask the parts in an order, bottom to top or left to right. It will make the timing part easier. Make sure there aren't any holes between the masks. Make the masks overlap each other rather than having ugly spaces between them. Once you have finished masking, add a transform node and connect it like I do. Go about 70 frames into the clip and make a keyframe for center. Go to the beginning and move the part out of the frame. Open the spline window, select Transform, and click here to see the whole graph. Highlight both of the points, press S on your keyboard, and copy my graph. Here you can also change the speed of the effect if you wish. Go to Settings and turn up Motion Blur. Uncheck the box for now to reduce lag. If it looks good, start copying and pasting the transform to each one of the parts. Let's separate the parts a little so the effect looks like it's actually building up. Open the keyframes window. Find the transform layers and change the timing of each one of them. I mask the parts from bottom to top. So if I move forward each pair of keyframes a little, it should look good. I'll start with Transform 2 since I want the effect to start right away. You can move the keyframes by highlighting them and dragging.
I will add a slight tilt to the hood to make it look like it's closing. The animation is now done, but the effect still looks weird because it doesn't have a shadow. Add a merge to the node section before the parts, connect a background node for it, and a polygon for that. Make a mask under the car as if it was a shadow. Adjust the alpha value to make it fit better, and then find Gaussian Blur to really sell the effect. Make a keyframe for alpha on the last frame of the effect, then go to the first frame and turn it down to zero. If you want, you can adjust the curve of the shadow in the spline window. If you really want a similar shadow, find an effect called Loader. Then select the photo of the car we used earlier. To see it, click on the left button on the node so it turns white. Take the polygon and replicate the size, shape, and color of the shadow. Make sure there are no other keyframes on the polygon node. Great. Now for the last and easiest step. Turn on the motion blur for every animated part. Delete the unused part of the freeze frame, and then you can smooth out the transition by dragging smooth cut between the clips.